Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I have a flip through of three soft cover journals that will be in my Etsy shop today. Um, yep, so let's do a flip through of all three. Let's do this one first. So, little bits of thread keep coming off the sari silk. <laughs> so, loose sari silk tie. Um, so that means you can change it or you can use that for something else or keep as is. And it's a lovely black and cream B cover. Um, it's a three hole pamphlet stitch with wax thread. Um, in between the two covers, you can see it's a nice soft floppy cover. Um, it's a piece of wad wadding, then felt and then another piece of wadding. So it's a three layers in between the two pieces of fabric. Uh, so that makes it nice and soft, but it's still quite sturdy, um, but quite floppy and bendy. Let me give you the measurements approximately. Five, five and a bit width and eight inches long and in centimetres that's 13 centimetres by 20 centimetres. Righty ho, so bees, bees on the cover and polka dots, dots in the middle, in, in the inside. Um, you'll get a little pack of uh, vintage and new ephemera bits and bobs, some book, little clippings of book pages and whatnot. A nice little surprise bundle with each of the journals uh, just to get you started with collage or decorating because these are minimally decorated. They're not really being decorated at all. Just some stitching around some of the edges. Um, this is just a journaling card. Uh, which has just been clipped on so that you can maybe use that um, as a title for the journal somewhere. It's clipped on to the first page which is music paper which has been stitched around. Um, this is a little side tuck pocket. It's got three uh, journaling cards just tucked in there. That's vintage um, music paper. Then we have a page from an old atlas. Then this is a page from a coffee table book. Um, so that's a new page. This is a botanical book. Then some craft paper, which has been stitched around. This is vintage old Scottish book. Um, this is an old girl's annual. This is from 1950, 1950s at some point. Um, this is a book about um, fonts, which is a new book. This is new paper, uh, a piece of vellum, which has been stitched around. This is an old book, uh, an old sheet. This is new and there's another little journaling card just clipped on there with a little dangly thing. <laughs> Some plain grey paper. So there's plenty of nice plain bits uh, for you to journal on and make your own. Uh, that's been stitched around. This is a nature book. And then in the middle there's the bow with the wax thread um, and then two pockets with some thick black lace along the bottom. Um, there's two large journaling cards and two little tags with eyelets and some twine. And pretty much the same on this side. Two larger cards and two small cards with the eyelets and the twine. And then, of course, it's just all the same on the back. It's the other side of the papers. Um, there's 30 pages. Um, 
and on the back there's another little pocket here with two larger cards and one smaller one that's been stitched around and then the music paper at the back so that's what you'll get nice soft cover some sari silk as a closure and a little packet of hot knots okay let's do the next one this is a nice teal colour so it's uh, got a piece of sari silk again as the closure and I think it's a very similar size so that's yep five nearly five and a half inches by eight and eight and a bit eight, nearly eight and a half maybe and in centimetres that's 20 and a half centimetres by 13 centimetres and this one has its little package of whatnot and on the inside it's <laughs> sewing machines I love this this is this is cool um, and again there's the two pieces of wadding and the piece of felt so again quite floppy but still quite spongy and nice um, okay so this one has new paper here with a journaling card clipped in there's a slight sewing theme so it's got um, pattern paper from a vintage pattern then that's new book page this one has got this is a really old sheet of paper there are some wear old marks on it it's not um, raised it's flat marks it must just be age marks so just keep that in mind there's little marks on this old paper here um, but you can journal over that paint over it stick something on it nice plain page there that's been stitched around um, again from the font book um, a little journaling card there on that plain page this one's been stitched around and it's a little side pocket with three little journaling cards stuck in there. This is an old book page from a Scottish book. Um, vellum that's been stitched around, a botanical sheet, um, an old book page, a craft page. It's been stitched around, botanical and a nice plain one to the centre. The wax thread has been tied in a bow. It's again, it's three whole pamphlet stitch and two large and two small um, journaling cards. And oh, no, there's another one. It's three large and two small. <laughs> there we are. And the same here three large and two small. And then, of course, the same pages on the back. The old book, the vellum, the old Scottish book, the music book with the three journaling cards in the pocket there. And a new page and a book page. This has been stitched around. There's another mark from that old sheet. These are, this is really old. So it has aged marks on it. But they're not raised. They're, they're in the paper. And a book page and the vintage um, sewing pattern. And the patterned paper at the back. So again, you'll get... And this has been all stitched around like all the all uh, the other one the closure and a little pack of mixed new and old bits and bobs and the final one has been tied with a piece of lace so you'll get that little closure this one's got thick lace down the spine 
it's absolutely gorgeous and I love this one too and again it's been all stitched around and with the three layers in the inside there so again nice and floppy and it will be roughly the same size I would think yep five this one's this one's coming up about five and a bit by eight inches and in centimeters that's about 13 and a half by 20 and a bit there's oh, so slight variations in these things and this is a lovely bright blue and white gingham on the inside to match the floral pattern on the outside again a little packet of mixed ephemera a little journaling card clipped to the front page. The front page has a pocket and we have one large and two small journaling cards. This has been stitched around. That's a book page, just paper paper it's got a little journaling card clipped on there that's a book that's from an atlas that's from the old scottish book that's patterned paper a botanical craft it's been stitched around that's from an old annual an old kiddies annual that's vellum it's been stitched around from a book and this is the music paper. It's got a little side pocket. It's got two little journaling cards there. A botanical page and another floral for the middle. It's a wax thread in the middle. And one large and two small journaling cards. In the centre here and the same on this side one large two small all stitched around and then the other sides is the botanical and the music page with the two cards Um, book page, vellum, the old annual, the craft, the botanical, the patterned paper, the old Scottish book, the atlas, the book page and another journaling card clipped on that patterned paper, some grey paper and at the back is the other side of the pocket with the large card and two small ones. The distance between dreams and reality is called action. <laughs> Here we are. And that's that one. So we get the closure and the little thing. And there are 30 pages in each one. So let me just put that inside there. I don't want to get them mixed up <laughs> and then that inside there you'll get those closures like that <laughs> they're absolutely gorgeous so they're in the shop and um, yeah and I'll put a link to the shop in the description box so thanks for watching and obviously um, that might just give you a little bit of inspiration as to what to put in journal pages as well. So thanks for joining me and if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.